I am basically taking out a plug that we had for the snorkel. So that way now the air from the snorkel can get into the air box itself. And I'm gonna dyno the snorkel inlet and the stock inlet, you know, together just to see if, you know, we gain horsepower from having extra airflow. Basically what I'm doing, why I'm doing that is the, uh, the stock system only has one inlet and it's right here. And it only has one, you know, about that big, it's a hole in the bottom of the air box and it draws in fresh air. So is that the limiting factor on the whole intake setup? That's what I wanted to determine. So if I add another hole into the air box and the car makes power, it stands to reason that this is actually a limiting system and in the entire intake system and not, you know, some other parts of it. That way, one, we can determine what our optimal size would be for it, for our snorkel to make sure that we're not restricting air if somebody chose just to run the snorkel and not the stock airbags. So if it makes power, we know anything bigger than the stock inlet is good. If it loses power, which I don't think it will, um, then we have to look at some other issue because <laughs> it shouldn't lose power by adding more holes in the airbox. Basically what we want to make sure is that if somebody puts this snorkel in their vehicle, it's not going to restrict any airflow into the air box. We want to keep out things like water and dust and other debris, but we want air still to get into your intake so that way your vehicle can make power and drive down the road. In order to do that, we ran a series of tests. The very first test was the vehicle completely stock without the snorkel supplying any air into the air box. So just the stock inlet into the air box. We then opened up both the snorkel and the stock air box inlet. And this is gonna show us a couple of different things. It's gonna show us the impact of having additional air in your air box. So will you make power? And it will also show us what some people might expect to see if they choose to run the snorkel with the stock air box opening still open. And the very final configuration was a stock airbox inlet completely plugged up and snorkel supplies 100% of the air into the inbox, airbox. Now what that's going to do is mimic somebody who has this thing off-road in maybe a desert condition or extremely muddy, deep water, whatever it may be, and they're only getting air coming in through the snorkel. So let's take a look at that data. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more run. I gotta do one more. So, yeah, I'm gonna run it one more time and then we'll close the stock airbox off and see what happens. Thank you. 